Hello and welcome to Workspace ONE 101, a free video training course on how to quickly configure and deploy Workspace ONE as a standalone enterprise mobility management solution. This video is brought to you by UEM Authority. Let's get started. How to deploy Workspace ONE Boxer. Workspace ONE Boxer provides organizations with a single convenience application for users to manage emails, contacts, and files from their phones, all whilst complying with your company's security policy and infrastructure. It offers a high degree of customization with features such as custom swipe gestures, quick replies, send availability, custom smart folders, contact avatars, email notifications, just to name a few. This is a two-step process. In step one, we will add the application to Workspace ONE UEM. Then, in step two, we will configure Smart Group Assignments. Smart Group Assignment allows different rules or privileges to be enabled for chosen groups of users. From the Workspace ONE UEM console, click Apps and Books. Then, under Applications, Native, and under List View, click on Public. Then click Add Application. Please enter the following information. 1. Managed by. By default, this is the organization group where the application was uploaded. 2. Platform. Let's choose the appropriate platform. We will select Apple iOS. It's worth noting only Apple iOS and Android devices are supported by Workspace ONE Boxer. 3. Source. Here, we'll search for the application in the App Store or we will enter the URL. 4. Name. Enter Workspace ONE Boxer and click Next. Then click Workspace ONE Boxer in the search results screen. Click Select, and then click Save and Design. Next, we'll enter a name for the assignment. We're going to input UEM Authority BYOD. BYOD stands for Bring Your Own Device. Next, we'll enter a description for the assignment. With assignment groups, you can authorize certain users to access apps, allowing your organization to have more control. We're going to select all employee-owned devices. For app delivery method, click on auto. Click email settings, then input the settings. For account name, enter a description of the mail account. We're going to use UEM authority. Next, enter the details for Exchange Active Sync Host. We're going to enter mail.uemauthority.com. Now, we're going to leave the remaining settings in their default state, but you can still change them as you require. Scroll up and then click on App Policies. Inside App Policies, enable and configure single sign on to reveal the multiple managed account feature in Boxer. Be cautious though, as after you enable single sign-on, you cannot disable it. Next, click App Passcode. Where it says Type, click on the box and select Numeric. Next, click on Data Loss Prevention. This determines how your end users can access emails, attachments, hyperlinks and other settings as required. The next setting, Copy Paste, if restricted, end users cannot copy and paste content from Workspace ONE Boxer to other applications. For this exercise, we will click on Restricted. Next, Local Calendars. If restricted, the local calendar in Workspace ONE Boxer will be unavailable to end users. For this exercise, we're going to choose Restricted. Next, Personal Contacts. If Personal Contacts are restricted, 
end users can only access contacts from the email accounts in the app. Again, we'll choose restricted. The next option, if enabled, allows printing. If you click on no, this disables printing of emails and attachments. After this, we have allow custom keyboards. If you click yes, it enables the user to use third party keyboards. After this, we have restrict unsecured HTTP connections. If you click yes, you'll restrict the loading of content from an unsecured HTTP connection. If you scroll down, you'll see other available DLP settings that you may configure to your own requirements. Now, scroll down and click Browser. If hyperlinks are restricted, end users can only open hyperlinks in Workspace ONE Web. Click on Usability and scroll down. Next, we have Skip in app tutorial. If you enable this option, it will skip the in-app tutorial that appears when you first open Workspace ONE Boxer. You can set this usability setting as per your requirements. Next, click on Support. Logging and crash reporting is already enabled. Under the Support email address, enter the email address you wish to use. We will enter support at uemauthority.com. Next, click on Advanced. Forward or Add Attachments allows the user to add or forward email attachments. We will disable it. Attachment Download. This enables or disables downloading and forwarding of attachments. We're going to disable it. Attach Photos. Attach Photos enables or disables the attaching of images and media from the photo gallery and camera. You can choose the other advanced settings as per your requirements. Next, click Create. Then, click Save. And finally, click Publish. Well done! You have successfully deployed Workspace ONE Boxer along with Smart Assignment Groups.